Amen. Praise the Lord. This is the true worshiper. I got a good one for you. There you know I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. I'm going to be coming out of the book of Revelations. The book of Revelations. Hallelujah. What does that word revelation mean? It means to unveil. It means to disclose something. <clears throat> and Jesus Christ, Yeshua, it is written in Revelation chapter 1. It says, this is a revelation from Jesus Christ. This is from the Savior, which God gave him to show his servants, that's you and I, hallelujah, to show his servants the events that must soon take place. He sent an angel to the present to present this revelation to his servant, John, who faithfully reported everything he saw. He recorded, he wrote down everything he saw. This is his report of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, God blesses the one who reads these words of the prophecy to the church. And he blesses all who listen to its message and obey what it says, for the time is near. Amen. So I thank and praise God. And um, <clears throat> I just would like to say that may the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Revelations chapter 12. You've seen the message, <clears throat> the title of the message. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get right to it. Revelations chapter 12. We're going to start at the seventh verse. And the reason why I'm going here today, because we are on this earth living like the devil does not exist. We're living on this earth, going to and fro, doing whatever we want to do, and not being mindful of what's around us. What's around us? There is a murderer on the loose. Hallelujah. Let's read. Then there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. Uh-huh. And the dragon lost the battle. The dragon is Satan. And the dragon's angels are demons. Do you hear me? Okay. Verse 7. Then there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Michael, the archangel, a heavenly being. God's angels. Amen. God's messengers fought against the devil and his angels, all right? And the dragon lost the battle. And he and his angels were forced out of heaven. Amen. This great dragon, this ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world, deceiving the whole world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens, it has come at last, salvation and power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ, of his anointed one. 
for the accuser of our brothers and sisters. Now, this, what you're hearing, is being shouted across the heavens. This is not being shouted here on earth. It's being shouted across the heavens because there was a war in heaven. Amen. And God's holy and pure and powerful angels, one of them named Michael, hallelujah, and the rest of the angels, of God's angels, fought against Satan and his angels. And the Satan lost. And then he was thrown out of heaven along with his demons. Amen. And where were they thrown? They were thrown into the earth where we are and in the sea. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth. The one who accuses them before our God day and night. Amen. And they have defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. Even though this devil has been thrown down here on the earth, the word of God says that you and I have defeated him on the earth by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. Amen. This is why I gave you Psalms 107 verses 1 and 2. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed say so. What are you to say? Hallelujah. That God saved you. That he sent his one and only son to die for you. And that blood, the blood of the lamb, hallelujah, is what gave us power, enough power to defeat the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh, I just had to read this. Come on, come on, church. And they have defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. Notice that this devil was accusing us before God day and night. Just would not stop. Constantly, constantly, day and night, accusing you and I. Amen. And they, the word says, and we did not love our lives so much that we were afraid to die. Mm, mm, mm. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who live in the heavens rejoice. But terror will come on the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has little time. Mm -mm -mm. When the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to the earth, oh, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. Now this right here, the woman symbolizes Israel and the male child symbolizes Yeshua, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior and the Messiah. When the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But she was given two wings like those of a great eagle so she could fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness. There she would be cared for and protected from the dragon for time, times, and a half. What does that mean? That's three and a half years or 1,260 days. Then the dragon tried to drown the woman with a flood of water that flowed from his mouth. But the earth helped her by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that gushed out from the mouth of the dragon. And the dragon was angry at the woman, angry at Israel, and declared war against the rest of her children. Mm -hmm. 
This is Abraham's descendants. Hallelujah. Now watch this. And declared war against the rest of her children. Who are the rest of her children? That's you and I. All who keeps commandments, keeps God's commandments and maintain their testimony for Jesus. Mm -hmm. About Jesus, for Jesus. Then the dragon took his stand on the shore beside the sea. I want you to know, you who are running around on this earth, like everything is cool, I want you to know there is a murderer on the loose. Amen. And then you have to stay vigilant, saint. Stay in your word. Worship and praise God. Lift him up. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on with me. Let's go to Revelation chapter 13 because there's something I want you to see. Hallelujah. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Verse 3. Revelation chapter 13, starting at the third verse. I saw that one of the heads of the beast. Okay. The beast out of the sea. Okay. The beast out of the sea. Now, remember, God cast Satan down to the earth. Okay. He also cast all of Satan's angels down to the earth and some fell on the earth and the rest fell on the sea, okay? In the sea. And then it says here, I saw that one of the heads of the beast seemed wounded beyond recovery, but the fatal wound was healed. The whole world marveled at this miracle and gave allegiance to to the beast. They worship the dragon. Who? You see this? Down here on the earth, they worship the dragon. You have Satan worshipers. You got witches. You got people that, you know, are into sorcery, messing around with the Ouija boards, the God haters. Uh huh. They worship the dragon for giving the beast such power. Uh-huh. And they also worship the beast. They worship Satan. They worship the Antichrist. Okay. They're worshiping the false prophet. These are people here on the earth. Watch this. Who is a great who is as great as the beast? They exclaimed, men and women on the earth are saying, who is as great as the beast? Who is able to fight against him? Then the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemies against God. And he was given authority to do whatever he wanted for 42 months. And he spoke terrible words mm -hmm, of blasphemy against God, slandering his name and his dwelling. That is those who dwell in heaven. And the beast was allowed to wage war against God's holy people. Uh-huh. And to conquer them, God's holy people, and to conquer them. And he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. And all the people who belong to this world worshiped the beast. So don't, don't run away. Listen. And all the people who belong to this world worshiped the beast. Yesterday, I said that I got something for you to all you world lovers. Mm -hmm. 
The Bible says if you love the world, you are an enemy to God. You're an enemy to his son. Keep listening. Listen. And the beast was allowed to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them. Now, God's holy people were those that were set aside that God chose uh -huh, to serve him, to honor the covenant that God had made with himself to us. This was a covenant. He is to be our God and we are to be his people. So why is God allowing the devil to wage war, the devil and his demons, to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them? Follow along with me. And he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. Prior to this, it says that they worshiped the dragon. God's holy people worshiped the dragon and they worshiped the beast out of the sea. And they start saying stuff like, who is great as the beast? Who is able to fight against him? All right. And he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation and all the people who belong to this world worshiped the beast. Who are you? You mean me and you? You and I? We're going to do this? Oh, no. The ones that are doing this are these people right here. They are the ones whose names were not written in the book of of life that belongs to the lamb who was slaughtered before the world was made. Mm-hmm. I had to, I had to, I had to bring this to you because children of God are throwing away righteousness and grabbing hold to unrighteousness. God's holy people have put aside holiness and they have grabbed hold to wickedness. And that's why God gave the devil and the Antichrist and the false prophet authority over them because they were worshiping the devil, worshiping idols, all into witchcraft, doing the things the devil commanded them to do. Incest, sexual immorality, changing their sexual identity, murdering, lying, killing. Uh-huh and blasphemy the one and only true God. Verse nine, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison. Anyone who is destined to die by the sword will die by the sword. This means that God's holy people 
must endure persecution patiently and remain faithful. Don't be the, the, the half that God had called holy turn their backs on God. Be the holy people. Be the royal priesthood. Be the city, be the light on the city of a hill that cannot be hidden. And go through this time of suffering and persecution with faithfulness to God. You don't give in to the devil. You don't, you don't say, well, if I can't beat them, I might as well join them. Verse 13, chapter 1. Then I saw a beast rising up out of the sea. It had seven heads and ten horns, with ten crowns on its horns. And written on each head were names that blasphemed God. This beast looked like a leopard, but it had the feet of a bear and the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave the beast his own power and throne and great authority. I saw that one of the heads of the beast seemed wounded beyond recovery, but the fatal wound was healed. The whole world marveled at this miracle and gave allegiance to the beast. The whole world marveled at this miracle and gave allegiance to the beast. They worshiped the dragon for giving the beast such power, and they also worshiped the beast. Who is as great as the beast, they exclaimed. Who is able to fight against him? Then the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemies against God, and he was given authority to do whatever he wanted for 42 months. And he spoke terrible words of blasphemy against God, slandering his name and his dwelling, that is, those who dwelled in heaven. And the beast was allowed to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them. And he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. And all the people who belong to, the, to this world worshiped the beast. They are the ones whose names were not written in the book of life that belongs to the Lamb who was slaughtered before the world was made. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison. Anyone who is destined to die by the sword will die by the sword. This means that God's holy people must endure persecution patiently and remain faithful to the almighty God. Hallelujah. I just want you to know, saints, while you're walking around this earth, while you're going to all your little vacation spots, Las Vegas, Atlantic City, Magic City, to the strip club, turning it up, just having a ball, just having a ball, right? Just having a ball because you're loving this earth, but God is talking about those who love this world, okay? Okay? He's talking about those who love this world, whose names are not written in the Lamb's book of life. You have forgotten that Satan was cast out of heaven to this earth and also into the sea. The Bible says that he is down here with us. But God had given us something to overcome the devil. And he gave us Yeshua, his one and only son, Jesus Christ. For the word of God says that we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. What is your testimony this day? What is your testimony this morning? Amen. I want you to know, saints, 
there's a murderer on the loose. And you can't see him with these eyes. But you better believe if God says he's here, he's here. And he's here to do one thing. That's to kill you and destroy you. Mm -hmm. And steal from you your belief and your faith in God. Satan can steal your belief. He can steal your faith. He is a thief. He is the great deceiver. He is a liar. And the Bible says he's here to deceive the whole world. And he's doing it. He's doing it. Turn on your television. Turn on your television. You'll see him stealing it on the real housewives of Atlanta and every real housewife show that's on te television. Mm -hmm. You'll see him stealing it. Your faith and your belief and your identity in the music industry. You'll see him stealing it in Hollywood. That's right. And you'll see him stealing it in your community, in your government, in the Senate. In the mayor's office. Uh-huh. You'll see him stealing everything and killing and deceiving you through your own police department. I'm telling you, saints. There's a murderer on the loose and he's looking to kill everyone of God's people, especially those who hold true to this word. If you want God's protection, you better leave this world alone. He's deceiving you through this, through all the stuff that the world is saying. Come on. Come on over here. Come on and win yourself a jackpot. Come on to Magic City. Come on to the strip club. Come on to Little Darlings. Come on. Come on to the brothel. Come on. Come on to the LGBTQ. Come on. Come on to the Crips and the Bloods, and the Black Gorilla family. Uh-huh. Come on to the disciples. Come on into the gangs. Come on into the rolling 60s. The rolling 20s. Come on into MS-13. Come on. Deceiving you. Got you worshiping the devil. Not believing in God. You done went from a believer to an unbeliever. I want you to know today. There's a murderer on the loose. And he's looking for you and I. Mm-hmm. He's looking for you and I. But woe to those whose names are not written in the Lamb's book of life. Hey, this is the true worshiper. That's all I have for you today. God bless you subscribers. Hey, hit the like button. Subscribe. If you just came to this channel, hit the like button. Subscribe. Amen. Hit the bell. That'll let you know when I'm dropping another video. God bless you. I'll see you soon.